In this video, I'll show you how to adjust user permissions for tech accounts. For added security, Web Help Desk lets you assign additional permissions to a tech without assigning the tech as an administrator. This provides additional permissions to your techs without granting unlimited access to the application. To change your permissions, click Setup in the toolbar, click Techs in the left menu, and then select Tech Permissions. In the Tech Permissions screen, you'll see a permission called Default. I'll just click on it to show you the list of permissions or rights we recommend. You can create your own set of permissions for a group of techs as you see fit. It's best to create permission sets based on the roles in your organization, defining their permissions based on the minimum access that role requires. For example, you may want your junior techs to add new assets to your inventory, but only want your senior techs or supervisors to remove assets. To adjust an existing permission definition, click the permission name. To create a new permission, click New. For your convenience, the default set of tech permissions in Web Help Desk are enabled by default. This provides a base template of permissions for a tech that you can adjust to meet your needs. For this video, I'm going to create a new permission set for a junior tech or intern account and name it Junior Techs. First, we need to consider which tickets these junior techs should be allowed to see. By default, when these techs click on the Group Tickets view under Tickets, they'll be able to see all tickets assigned to their group. For example, all tickets assigned to facilities or systems. If they use the search tickets function, they can see tickets outside their group. I don't want these techs to search for tickets outside their tech group, so I'm going to select Limit to Assigned Tech Group. Now the tech won't be able to see or search any tickets outside of their assigned tech group. I don't want the techs to change ticket priority. This is something I only want my senior techs to do. So I'll uncheck Change Priority. As you can see, Techs can set tickets to closed by default. Since this permission set is for junior techs, I'd like the client to confirm that their issue is resolved prior to closing. So I'll instruct my junior techs to set the status to resolved if they think the issue is resolved. Web Help Desk will then send an email to the client to confirm that the issue is resolved. This behavior is configurable for resolved ticket status type. If the client votes yes, Web Help Desk automatically sets the status to closed. If the client votes no, it reopens the case. To enforce this, I'll uncheck Close Ticket Permission. I don't want a junior tech to create or modify tasks because tasks are typically used to automate the process of creating new tickets. They usually follow a specific schedule that frequently occurs, such as creating system backups. In this case, I'll limit this ability by unchecking Task Edit. Now we'll shift the focus to what client permissions these techs should have. Clients are the end users that typically interact with Web Help Desk to submit tickets using the web interface or by email. Edit Clients is enabled by default, allowing your techs to edit the profile of client accounts. This gives techs the rights to make changes to existing client profiles, for example, to change the client's phone number. By default, techs can't delete clients from the system or import them into the system. That permission level might be something I assign only to the supervisor or group manager level. The permissions for deleting and importing clients is a secondary permission. If I don't provide permissions to edit client details, I won't have the option to provide permissions for importing or deleting them. I want this junior tech to adjust simple client profile items, so I'll enable Edit Clients, but leave the other two boxes unchecked. Next on the list is Asset Permissions. I want the text to view equipment and asset inventory, so I'll leave View Assets enabled. Like Edit Clients above, Edit Assets not only allows the tech to edit an asset record, but also reveals other asset permissions when enabled and hides them when disabled. Notice that when I uncheck it, the system hides Create Assets, Import Assets, and Delete Assets. Again, I would prefer that only supervisors or group managers can create, delete, or import assets into the system, so I'll leave these three permissions unchecked. Under Other Permissions, I disabled Location Edit and Department Edit. Leaving them enabled would have allowed them to edit locations and departments, as well as view the corresponding groups. When an FAQ is created in Web Help Desk, it has to be approved by an administrator before it's available to its intended audience. By default, text can create and edit unapproved FAQs. Notice that when I uncheck FAQ Edit, the Approved FAQ Edit and Import FAQs options disappear. My junior tech role is created for interns who are still learning, so I don't want them creating FAQs yet. So I'll remove this ability by unchecking FAQ Edit. Consider leaving this option enabled for your senior techs. 
This way they can create FAQs from a ticket note or under the FAQ tab across the top of the page. By default, an approved FAQ can only be edited by an administrator, but can also be assigned explicitly to subject matter experts, like senior techs, by checking Approved FAQ Edit. I'm fine with junior techs being able to view techs and groups, view reports, and set their vacation status, so I'll leave those checked. I'm happy with my configuration, so I'll click Save at the bottom of the page. Now if you look at the top of the page of Junior Text Permissions, you'll notice that I have an Assigned Text tab. If I click on it, I can see all of the texts who I can assign to this permission set. Text with account type admin will never show up here. Account type can be changed in each text's individual account settings. I'll select the names of the junior texts and click Save. Now, when I return to the Tech Permissions tab, I can see my new junior tech permission setup with the names of my junior texts assigned to it.